My dream was always to retire to a warm and sunny climate for my later years. I always had Portugal in mind to escape the incessant rain and the grey skies of the UK. It's my favourite holiday destination. The only problem with that view of retirement is it's a vacation view. If that's you, it's time to reimagine how you think about your retirement. In this video, I'll share a three-step approach to retirement. It uses the acronym ROI, but those letters don't mean what you think. I'll explain that in just a minute. It's an ROI for a much better return on the investment in time, which is your most precious commodity in retirement. Retirement should be personalized, intentional, and dynamic, a chapter of life that brings joy and purpose. By focusing on this three-step ROI, you can lead a more fulfilling, rewarding, and joyous retirement. What's your retirement dream? Is it similar to mine? Spending your final quarter in a warm and sunny climate, watching awesome sunsets from a beautiful stretch of white sand, sipping margaritas, lounging by the pool, endless games of golf, long walks on the beach, Sunday afternoons at your favorite beach bar, listening to live music. It sounds idyllic, doesn't it? I always loved my vacations in Portugal, so I thought, why not make that my retirement lifestyle? It makes sense, right? But I didn't think it through. What about my family? Once they're grown up, are they really likely to move with you? How often can I realistically see my 25-year-old son? How often can my wife see her parents? Portugal is 2,000 miles away. I haven't got any grandkids yet, but what happens when I do? How about you? If you move to your dream location, how often will you see your family? What about your best friends? Are you going to miss them? Whether you should or shouldn't retire is up to you. When you retire is your choice too. Your retirement is yours to design and discover. I made my choice to retire early at 44. That was my choice. What will be your choice? But what I do want to share with you is what I've learned from being retired the past 19 years. Hopefully it'll help you deal with the quakes and the disruptors that retirement can bring. Transitions are a regular part of life and retirement is just another transition. It's one we'll probably all face. However, it needs to be carefully navigated. If you give retirement your full intention and attention, the outcome will be to improve your well-being in retirement. Think of it as your ROI, and that normally stands for return on investment. But in my ROI, it stands for reimagine, organize, initiate. It's a three-step process to flourish in retirement. First up is R, reimagine. Let's think about your current definition of retirement. If it's anything like the dictionary definition, it's something like this, the act of retiring from work or the period of being retired from work. But it can also mean seclusion from the world, privacy, the act of going away or retreating. They imply that life is fading away and that we are retreating from life by retiring. When in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Your retirement years can be some of the best years of your life. They can be years where you can flourish in a way that you couldn't at work. In the UK, we can access private pensions at 55 and we reach state pension age at 66. I'd be surprised if many 55 year olds see themselves as fading from life. On the contrary, they're likely to be in good health with many good years ahead. And assuming a life expectancy of 80, they are barely halfway in adult life. That's all a far cry from the life expectancy in 1946 when the state retirement age was introduced. Back then, life expectancy was 69. People were expected to die four years after retiring, and an early retirement was unheard of. So to be clear, the definition and invention of retirement is nearly 80 years old. Since then, we've added 10 years to our lifespan, and we are retiring earlier. So surely you agree, we need to think differently about our definition of retirement as it's going to last a lot longer than four years. Because of this, we need to reimagine the vision for our retirement years. What are we going to do with a retirement lasting 25 years or more, not four? This leads me to the O of my ROI. Organize. To make the most out of these extra retirement years, you need to get organized. It's time to put your thinking cap on. Ask yourself, what will give me the most fulfillment in retirement? You'll probably come up with answers like spending time with your family and the people you care for, doing interesting things, doing things that help you grow. 
being generous and giving back. You'll probably have financial security on the list too, but probably not at the top. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate that money brings freedom and financial independence gives you lots of flexibility. But research consistently shows that above a base level, money is not the secret ingredient to happiness in life or in retirement. It's also interesting to consider the disconnect between those who have already retired, the retirees, and those who are planning on retiring. Retirees prioritize connection, contribution, community. That's what's on my mind now that I'm 63. But back when I was 44, I had a completely different view of retirement. It was a vacation view. And I actually bought an apartment in Portugal and spent weeks and months there every year. I found over time that it became the norm. No different to living in England. In fact, not as good in reality. And it started to lack the joy that it once did once I was over that initial rush of excitement. I had an initial high of well-being once I retired. And then after a couple of years of travel and a few months every year in Portugal, a fairly sharp decline. After five years, I sold the apartment and now visit Portugal only a couple of weeks a year and thoroughly enjoy those weeks. The months I spent there in my early retirement became routine and monotonous and I missed the creature comforts of the UK but not the rain. My advice to anyone considering retirement is to treat it like you would a business. Set a vision, make a five-year plan, set goals, get organized, plan your life, don't just drift along. And I would start that planning process at least two years out from retirement. Make a bucket list of all the things you want to do, not just travel, but also personal growth. And also give some thought to how you can give back to the world, your legacy, if you will. It's important to ditch the vacation view of retirement if you have one the same as I did. It's better to consider the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, relationship and prosperity side of retirement. I actually built an operating system which I call my 6POS to cover all these things. I'll share some of that in later videos. It helped me carve out a fulfilling and rewarding retirement. After figuring out what you want to do in retirement and getting organised, it's time to identify what resources you need, which leads me on to the I of my ROI, initiate. So the vision's locked in, the plans are made, it's time for action. Time to get some reality into your ideas. Start with your year one plans, get things onto your calendar and assign some tasks to them. Things like book the hotel, book the flights, join a gym to get fit, that sort of thing. If you're thinking of foreign travel, why not enroll on a language course? Do whatever is required to initiate your plans. Break everything down into small actions and take baby steps, but just keep moving forward. It's important not to take on too much at once and become overwhelmed. You can adjust and edit as you go. Nothing is fixed in stone. Bring your dreams of the future into the reality of your present. I invite you to have a conversation about your retirement, but maybe a little bit different this time. It's never too early or too late to create a retirement canvas full of colour. You just have to get an ROI on your retirement chapter. Start with R. Reimagine. What does retirement look like to you? And what beliefs are no longer serving you well? Next is O. Organise. Who and what will be your priorities? How will you use your personality? How will you use your many strengths and skills? And finally, I, initiate. What is one small step you could take today to better kickstart your retirement? Finally, you'll need to stop caring about a few things if you want a happy retirement. Watch this video next for more advice on that.